Here, we will learn to use PLC user defined function and function block. Using user defined function block in XGK. This video was produced with XG5000 version 4.25. The PLC series using IEC language such as XGI, XGR, XEC, and XEM provides user-defined function block. If you want to use this function in XGK, XBC, XBM, you should select Automatic Allocation as the programming language when creating a project. Please note that you cannot change the language in a project once it's created. User-defined function block internal program. User-defined function block can simplify a scan program by organizing repeating logic into one function block. You can create it in the user function function block of project window. By selecting the function block, you can select the programming language and select the width of the function block. Let's create a logic that can create a function block called test and perform arithmetic operations. Each function block receives input variables A and B, then performs addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The ADD function will add two variables. The SUB function subtracts. The MUL function multiplies. And the DIV function divides the two variables. Next, let's put A and B in the input variable. Let's make the data type INT, meaning integer, to input the designated integer value. Since the result value of each function is a designated integer value, I will use integer. User-defined function block input output variable. After creating the logic, select local variables and specify the variable type. VAR is a local variable that has meaning only in user-defined function blocks. VAR input is the input variable of the function block. VAR output is the output variable of the function block. Unlike function, the function block can have multiple outputs. If the variable type has been specified, the appearance of the function block is complete. Please note that the order of input and output is determined in the order registered in the local variables window. Using user-defined function in the scan program. Let's register the user-defined function block created in the scan program. 
When you open the function, function block list, there is a category on the left. Select the PLC name of the project here. Here is new PLC. When new PLC is selected, the list of created functions and function blocks appears. Select the test in which the arithmetic operation was implemented. You can set the variable name for each function block. If you do not specify a variable name, it starts from INST and is automatically registered as INST234. Let's use this function block with the variable name user1. Now, check the output by inputting the value to the input output part in the registered function block. Let's register the variable and put the actual value. A variable type that corresponds to the output from a local variable within the user-defined function block because it is set to integer, there can be integer, only a variable or a constant value of the type register. Let's check the execution result of the function block by inputting the value of the input variable. You can register multiple user-defined function blocks in the scan program. Let's create another variable named user2. Now, we will check the input by mixing the constants and variables and inputting the values. By executing the logic in the user-defined function according to the value entered in the input variable, it is confirmed that the output variable value is changed. Let's check the execution result by inserting the input variable value of the second function block. Protecting the user's know-how by assigning a password. The user-defined function block registers the repeated logic that implements a certain operation in the user-defined function, calls it as one function block in the actual scan program, and registers the plurality of different input variables. You can also protect the programmer's skills by not giving them a password to view the contents of the logic. Now you know how to use the user-defined function blocks. Thank you.